Hello everybody and welcome to another Doing the Magnetic Showcase. This time around we're doing Performer Pals with Kyoto Jeksak. Yeah, because everyone has to do a pendulum deck eventually. Just looking casually at the eight pendulums that are here. <laughs> um, this is the only time, well the few times where I'm going to do uh, pendulums because I'm not doing anything to do with quill hordes. Sorry about that, I just really don't like them. I'm sorry, they look really really stupid. Now, I've probably offended a lot of people. I'm sorry again, but that's just what I think. Because, oh look, I could special some lots of things that you can't target to do anything to. Yeah, but I would have just snatched you it. Oh, bug, I didn't realise you could do that. Lol. But yeah, just call cool are stupid. Anyway, um, this isn't purely a poor power deck. It does spam the poor pal, um, like, stuff, though, like the pendulums. But mainly, it's different beasts, which you can also special them, because most of the performer pals that aren't OCG are, to be honest, a little bit shit. Um, but first of all, we've got, obviously, a triple cheer mole, because, well, cheer mole just does horrible, horrible things. Because, <laughs> oh, look, pendulum monsters. But it's mainly because... Mainly for its secondary effect when it gets special summoned again, but... Obviously, this is a pendulum scale of five. So we've got three pendulum, four pendulum scales of five, and four of three. A uh, pendulum scale of three, so I can do anything between fours, which is every other monster in the deck. Um, and this is pretty useful. Uh, so then you can just special something, special it direct from on the pendulum zone. And again, it's not for its effect or anything. It's for the fact it's a uh, part five. However, this is for its effect. Pendulum zone. Tie one monster control against the under attack for each performer pile card you currently control till the end of the turn. Say for example, you have him, him, three of these, him, and say one of them on the field. And you target, say, him. He goes up to uh three three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen hundred. He goes up to three thousand two hundred attack. It's a bit of a big deal, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously, next of all, we've got the Triple Whip Snake, which is the best level 4 of the performer pals, in my opinion. Because A, it's an, it's an Earth and stuff like that, meaning it's the, one of the only one, the only 4, I think, that's any good that could be searched by a giant rat. Um, but the idea is, is, these are the annoying ones. What you do is, when you pendulum summon, use these effects first to change their attack and defense, then pendulum, then overlays, then, then kill them because their defense, most monsters these days have less defense than they do attack, so you can really annoy people with that. And if not, you can always say if Cheermol's now been on the field, you could just use Cheermol's effect. Da -da. Um, we got Turn Toad, which again, does the same effect as Whip Snake, which is quite annoying. And it's all the effect. But again, it's because it's pendulum scale three use it all really. But again, it's the threes you actually use the effect more than the fives. Then you've got Friend Donkey, which is the only level three in the deck, but it's used one of it at least because it can get another uh, level four or level four pounds from hand and grave. Perform a pound, perform a pack, perform a pound monster from hand and grave. I might eventually drop it. I'm thinking, but I'm keeping it in there at the time being because it's still I haven't tested it yet because Dueling Network is pretty terrible for anything else other than deck building. But, yeah. Also, that rape face, though. That, that face. It's just, I'm going to eat your soul, and then I'm going to eat your children. He's not really a friend, is he? He's sort of the person who will gut you in your sleep. <laughs> um, then, obviously, Triple Giant Rat, because Giant Rat. And Basil <laughs> Basilisk. The reason for this, it's basically Yomi ship. Oh, Pendulum Summon with them in defense position. And as long as your opponent doesn't have stuff that can't be destroyed by card effects, Basil Basilisk is just the most horrific wall ever. You don't, you might not even have to overlay someone, you just have them on the field to be annoying. Then obviously Triple Assault Pog, again, to be annoying. Just, essentially, it can be a bit of a wall deck, because you just spam and spam and spam and spam and spam. Obviously, we can then have two Dianeth... There, Dinotherium, because special summoning power. It doesn't really matter if your opponent special summons afterwards, because you're just going to go overlay anyway. And I don't under. I, just, 
<laughs> it's funny, I've got this, like, premium gold rare, but it's like, I don't use it, because I, the, uh, apart, until I sort of built this, I didn't really see the point in it. But, but there's so few beasts that could special them themselves. But oddly enough, these are the only two that can't be searched. But then, you don't want them to be searched on the field, because you want them to just use the hand effects. Next, triple close forest, because it's annoying. It sort of, in this format particularly, where you've got the new rule, it's annoying. You play it, your opponent can now not play a field spell while this card's on the field. So, it basically is a bit more annoying in this sort of system, because your opponent could, for the fact that you now have two on the field, but now you can only have closed forest, because closed forest is on the field. Plus, if they destroy it, you still can't activate a field spell during the turn it's destroyed. And it's also a lot better than normal forest because it gives you more of a boost the more beasts in your graveyard. And if you're doing this sort of thing, there's going to be a lot because you're going to either drop them by effect or they're going to be destroyed. Next, soul charge because soul charge is just hella annoying. Triple put a form of power revival. I might drop some of these out unless they make better performer pals. <laughs> oh god. And then Perform Pal Call, again, I might drop them out. If Performer Pals, sort of, they don't make any better ones. And then Dual Speed Soul Swap. The reason for this is, is you could use it in conjunction with Dianetherium. Use Dianetherium's effect, special element them. Beast Soul Swap to bring them back into your hand. Then use it again. Well, you can only do it once per turn, but then you could basically recycle it to next turn. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Next, two mirror force, just to be even more of a wall. Double call of haunted, again for more special summoning. Bottomless because you'd have to run it anyway. Trapstone and, and magic jammer. Now, I may put a side deck in, but it's kind of complicated. There's not really that much more you can put into this, which is annoying. Thanks, Konami. Uh, but obviously, in this, you've got two Diagosto Emerald because Emerald is just hella broken. I mean, look at how expensive it still is. Just. Uh, two dark, dark, dark Revella and XYZ Dragon, I think I spoke of it in the zombie deck, just that name, the petulant teenager name, and it's still pretty good, the next is Tarn Knight, and Ouroboros again, because he will swarm Ouroboros, it's just Le Swarms, I may make a, I'm gonna make a Le Swarm deck at some point, then Alv, 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 Alv how do you say this, Alv Verdich, that sounds so dirty, um, Right, so, again, he goes, anything that's not Earth loses phone attack and defense. Combine that with the things like Cheer Mole, and you've got a big problem on your hand. And then one Cowboy, because, well, Cowboy, also, also again, more damage, more life, attack point loss. Plus, if you're using conjunction with Pormor Pals, you can swap its big defense for its attack. Da -da -da. And then, obviously, Silent Honor Arc, because Silent Honor Arc. Uh, Sky Pegasus, because it's the only one of the few beast type XYZs I have ever seen. <laughs> Plus, if you use your performer pals, most of your opponent's stuff will be face up and really annoying because it's just, this stuff keeps going onto the field. Uh, pop up. Another annoying name Papillo Operative. Again, because same th principle as most performer pals. Oh, look, change your battle position. And then Exeton, I still swarm Roach. Which is basically Exoton, similar to Exoton Knight. Again, for like you, when your opponent does better summoning plays. <laughs> oh, what? You're trying to bring out Galaxy Eyes? Nope. <laughs> then Tin Archduke again because it does a similar thing to again the Heraldic, uh, not Heraldic, um, Performer Pals. I, do I see weird um because it sounds weird? And then finally Violin de Sigma because I got bored. <laughs> well, it's quite a bit though considering it's you know, not a, not a widely used card. See, it just looks at Sun on arcs. Gosh. Cowboy is still pretty expensive as well. So I suppose these in burn decks, though. Um, or Robber Austin expensive. <laughs> Exoton Knight. You know, that's just the only thing that beats Exoton Knight. Don't guess to. Um, so actually, Ebra Bellion is quite annoying as well. I don't know what else there is that's actually valuable. <laughs> Storm Pound Knight. Um, see, the Storm Pound Call is just 10p. 4p. 3 pounds. 41p? That's not... Well, um, dollars. Dollars, not pence. I'm stupid. Actually. Wow, I just realised just that escalated quickly. I just went, hang on a minute, I'm looking at the lowest rar rarities here. And yeah. Um, I know some of them are pretty expensive in high rarity. Like, come on, tell me. 
I don't know what's expensive in high rarity. Nope, it's being annoying. Uh, there we go, that's something that's pretty relatively expensive in its high rarity. This is... As is, as is that, come to think of it. What? It's more expensive than Dicus to Emma in its rarest form. What? It's just like, yeah, so what? I'm annoying. Deal with it. Um, come to think of that, Exiton Knight is also really expensive in its rarest form. Jeez, <laughs> that escalated quickly. 13, 17, 85. What? Anyway, guys, uh, that was the form of Alexa case. Okay? So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't kill me for being a noob. I hope this is the right extra deck for the job. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and favorite this video. And if you like this video, please leave a comment as well and, and tell me what I've done bad, what have I done good. And I hope I get. And Skeletor signing off. Please meet us again in the next video. Bye.